survivors do come forward, they're taken seriously. They're informed of what the policies are. They're provided with the resources and the support that they need to get through their trauma mm -hmm. and to get back into their education. And so in terms of whether or not there's going to be a prosecution, is that going to, you know, is there in the criminal justice system or is there going to be some sort of an adjudication on a campus? Uh, that's got to be something that is in large part in the hands of that survivor. The Grand Canyon is women who aren't willing to come forward to law enforcement, whether it's on campus or it's in our civil society. Uh, that's the number one problem we have. Uh, of the 20% almost of women on college campuses who are either victims of rape or attempted rape, uh, less than 5% of those ever report to law enforcement. The numbers are really only slightly better in civil society. It's less than 10% of victims who ever report to law enforcement. And so in my mind, the Grand Canyon is, what's the cause of that? Why are these people not coming forward? And the answers are, uh, they don't think that they're going to be believed, they don't think they're going to be supported, they don't think they're ever going to receive justice. Until we change our response on campus and in civil society, we're not going to see that bridge gap. We're not going to see the Grand Canyon get smaller. Uh, that, to me, is, is first and foremost the real problem.